The Serotec PSA semi-quant test is an immunochromatographic assay for the rapid detection of human prostate-specific antigen, or PSA, in extracts from evidentiary stains. PSA is a protein found in high amounts in human seminal fluid and is a recognized marker for human semen stains. The Serotec PSA semi-quant test utilizes two different human-specific monoclonal antibodies for the detection of human PSA. The Serotec PSA semi-quant test cassettes are supplied in individually wrapped packages with lot number and expiration date information written on the outside of the package. The Serotec PSA semi-quant test cassette consists of an absorbent pad, a gold-labeled mobile human-specific monoclonal antibody to human PSA, a nitrocellulose membrane, a second different fixed human-specific monoclonal antibody to human PSA, an internal standard sample adjusted to a level of 4 nanograms per mil of PSA, and a control line containing anti-mouse antibodies. Materials provided include 40 individually sealed PSA semi-quant cassettes with plastic pipettes, 50 mils of standard buffer solution, a user instruction leaflet. Prepare an extract of a stain by cutting out a 5 mm by 5 mm area and place the cutting in a clean microfuge tube and label. If analyzing a body swab, slice longitudinally one quarter from the swab using a scalpel or a razor blade and place inside a clean microfuge tube and label. From the supplied bottle of buffer solution, add 1 mil or 1,000 microliters of buffer to the tube. Extract at room temperature for 10 minutes. For those that wish to examine the extract for sperm, spin the microfuge tube at 3,000 RPM for 10 seconds. Carefully transfer most of the buffer to another labeled microfuge tube and retain for PSA analysis. Using a pipette, aspirate the liquid remaining in the original tube in an up and down motion with the pipette to dislodge any cells from the tube and add to a microscope slide, dry, stain, mount, and examine microscopically for sperm. To conduct a test, allow the sample to adjust to room temperature. Remove a cassette from the foil pouch and label it with an identifier. From the second microfuge tube, remove 120 microliters of sample and add to the hole in the cassette. You will see the sample begin to travel up the membrane. Read the results after 10 minutes. Allow the membrane to incubate the full 10 minutes to call a negative result. Photograph the results. Positive membranes may be retained to demonstrate results. A positive result will show three lines. A negative result will show two lines. If the control line should not develop, the result is invalid and the test should be repeated. The buffer is PBS and the remaining extract may be retained for DNA analysis. 
The test yields positive results for a dilution of human semen resulting in a concentration of 0.5 nanograms per mil of seminal fluid. It is extremely important to use the supplied buffer in making extractions and dilutions to maintain the configuration of the PSA molecule and subsequent recognition by the monoclonal antibody. Directly adding solutions submitted to the lab douches and other liquids having acidic or basic pH can result in false positives. Also, PSA has been found in female fluids such as urine and thus it is important to cut a small sample from the clothing or use a quarter of a swab and dilute with one mil of buffer to eliminate these other sources of PSA. For information on purchasing Ceratec amylase membranes, please contact Ceratec.